going to my 300s, so I've never been so stressed for a game of footy just because it seemed to be about me and um, that was quite uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, talking to my um, performance coach at the time, he said, man, it's not about you, it's about everyone else. It's sort of how could get here and that little reframe definitely just made it so much more enjoyable and it's a great honour to, to represent this club for, um, you know, 18 years and 350 games and, um, yeah, I, I think I've got to embrace the whole week and what it brings and I think part of that is is definitely reflecting on all the people that have helped me get here and I think that's the most important thing. There's no way I'd be here today without my family, friends, coaches, teammates, um, supporters, everyone and, and part of that is reflecting on those who have helped me get here and that's been really special. I, I walked in here today and um, I had a gift basket here with all my favourite things, um, Coke Zero, Cherry Ripes, Red Frogs, Red Bull, everything. I knew straight away it was it was mum and um, my auntie and my sisters and, and family had organised it and yeah, it's been special. To have all my family at, at the game um, who have been there the whole way and been incredible support and I've probably been a selfish son and selfish brother along the way to to really, you know, follow my dream and, and, and try and be the best football I possibly can they've sort of just supported that the whole way and this is a chance to celebrate with them um, and and you know make sure I go out there and, and give my best performance um, for the footy club but but also my family as well and um, it'll be really special to have them in in the stands and um, my uh, my cousin who's basically my brother um, his uh, his little boy will run out with me um, before the game which will be really special as well so um, yeah, looking forward to it all. Yeah, so I, I actually have a bit of a routine, especially on away games. I'll, I'll get a massage after dinner uh, and then go get a physio for about half an hour and then sort of come back here. The footy will be on for about 15 more minutes, I reckon. Then I'll go off. I don't watch too much footy anymore. Um, and then I sort of sit down and uh, I journal in my footy book, just sort of reflect on the week. Um, sort of everything that I've sort of done during the week in terms of my preparation and, and just sort of review that so I know that, you know, I've ticked every box that I possibly can to go out there and perform and sort of helps um, release a lot of pressure and, and um, you know, give myself confidence knowing that I've done, done the work and I can just go out there and play. And yeah, I, was, I sit down and we'll probably watch a bit of Netflix and sort of cruise for a little bit and then and go to bed and yeah, look forward to big game tomorrow. Have a look at the names and have a look at the moment that we've come across. We are, we are in the presence of elite. You just can't do what you do, Trav, in our game. And you should be so, so proud of what you do. But we should be so proud of representing Travis. We need to get a job done to make it truly a celebration for everyone that's important in your life. Boys in this room, your family, your dad. He'd be incredibly proud. And I'm sure when you look up tomorrow, He'll be looking, but the rest of the world will be looking with you. You you helped create what Port Adelaide is today in a massive way, and you should be so, so proud of that. You've been an absolute pleasure to have around this football club, and the football club are in debt to you, mate. So I just hope tomorrow's a special celebration for you. Congratulations. <laughs>
I think the one thing I found is that like no preparation is perfect. And once I understood that, it just became um, a way better routine. And I think for so many years, I used to just be like, it has to be this way. I have to eat this at a certain time. I have to get this much sort of sleep. Where now it's okay, this is what I want to try and do. And, um, you know, I think just planning that and letting go and letting go of control a little bit has um, certainly helped my preparation even more. Um, and reviewing my week has definitely helped a lot, knowing that, oh, okay, I've done all this. Now we can sort of just relax and go in and play footy because it is just a game in the end. going to get another possession. Universally admired. Game number 350 for Travis Broke. Even the Richmond fans applaud the champ. Porter are going to make it two from two. And what better way to honour a champion, a true champion of our game, Travis Broke, than with a victory. Yeah. <laughs>